a special customized personalized message just for the INFP and their equestrian habits coming right up. Hello my crazies, Reagan from Horse Crazy Mama here, here to help you build your relationship with your horse and yourself and better your horsemanship in the process. If that sounds like something that you are trying to do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. The INFP. This is such a fun personality. It's... You guys are so sweet. Just. So much fun to be around. My mom-in-law is an INFP and she is like one of my favorite people ever. You guys just have big dreams and you have like all these dreams that are just there to help other people too. Like you're just so selfless in these, in these dreams and these goals and it's just absolutely amazing. But you know, what exactly makes an INFP tick? Let's get into it. So the I in INFP stands for introvert. That means that you take in your surroundings from the inside out. So you have your own set of rules, your own set of standards, and literally no exterior uh, influence is going to change that. It's really admirable and it's really a big strength in your personality. With that being said, you probably prefer to ride just you and your horse, or you prefer to just kind of hang around horses and just be there. You don't really have to ride, you just love horses. And with the selfless nature of an INFP, you probably prefer to help others love horses too. Just be aware, you know, that not everything comes from inside of you, so take in your exterior surroundings as well. Be aware of where you're at and what you're doing and take care not to get too lost. The N in INFP stands for intuitive. Intuitive means you go with your gut feeling or your intuition, so to speak. And it means that you're probably more focused on the big picture rather than the small details of life. And this is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. It means when you dream, you dream big. So you need to learn to trust your intuition and to trust your, your gut instinct. But also don't get too lost in your train of thought. Be sure that you are living in the here and now and enjoying the present moments and just making the memories where you are today. The F in INFP stands for feeling. And feeling means that you tend to lead from your heart or from your emotions. Now this is amazing because as you know, horses are extremely emotionally intelligent creatures. They respond to the emotions of people very, very well. So you tuning into that, that strength of the, the horse, and really allowing them to feel your affection and your, your love for them is a great strength. However, you also need to remember to kind of use your life brain a little bit in setting rules and standards and boundaries in these horses, and don't let them walk all over you just because you want them to know that you love them. The P in INFP stands for perceiver. Unlike a judger, you tend to go with the flow, you tend to be very adaptable, and schedules just stress you out. You hate having a time limit on stuff, you hate having to be able to adhere to other people's schedules, so probably best to just go in without a plan. However, you do need to draw some kind of boundary on this and not just go willy-nilly unprepared into anything. Make sure that you have your goals set and that you have not necessarily a plan but some kind of method of going into and accomplishing these goals so that you don't get discouraged or you don't get frustrated in your horseback riding and that you feel more fulfilled and more like you are contributing something and making progress. I cannot iterate this enough, you guys. There is no such thing as a perfect horse for your personality. It is a relationship that you grow, you develop, you work on until it is something that is strong and something that you can work with. That being said, here's how the INFP may react to the personalities. 
Now with the INFP and the left brain extroverted horse, very interesting. You have to be very careful INFPs with the left brain extroverted horse because if you let them, they will walk all over you. So be sure that you set those boundaries, make sure that you make those rules. I know this might be something that's stressful for you, something that doesn't quite come naturally to your nature, but it's something you have to do, otherwise this horse is just going to do whatever the heck it wants around you and it's not really going to be very fun. So set those boundaries, set those rules, treat it like more like a child than a horse. They need to have discipline, they need to have order so that they can trust you a little bit better. With the INFP and left brain introverted horse, again, these horses are going to be extremely stubborn and a little bit slow moving, which might just suit you fine. However, again, you need to have those boundaries and those rules in place and not just let the horse walk all over you. You need to make sure that you are a little bit more firm in disciplining them and making sure that they know what is expected of them so that when you go to ride them, it's not just going to be them standing there while you're trying to get them to move. With the INFP and the right brain extroverted horse, these horses need a safe place and honestly the INFP may be extremely good at creating that safe place for them. Just your sweet, caring manner and your desire to make others comfortable around you can be a huge strength in, in helping these horses bond with you and create an incredible bond. Also make sure that you're comfortable with these high energy horses. You may be a little bit more comfortable with something a little more low energy and relaxed. Now with the INFP and the right brain introverted horse, again, if the INFP were a horse, they'd probably be a right brain introverted horse. So make sure that when you're seeing these horses and you get frustrated with these horses, it's not a mirror as to what frustrates you about yourself. Just take it into account, INFPs, please do not beat yourself up and realize that these horses are, they're just scared and they react more out of fear than, than curiosity. They just need that safe spot to, to know that they can trust you and that they are safe. So that is the video for the INFP. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you did and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single video in this series. Keep the crazy horse crazy, y'all. See you next.